The game of cricket is enthusiastically followed by a huge number of people in India. For Indians, cricket is like a religion. The acceptance rose with the arrival of Indian Premier League in 2008. Hello and welcome to all our viewers. I'm Bharna and I welcome you all to an all new episode of Data Science Daily where today I'm going to talk about data science in IPL. Do you have questions like how reliable are the tail enders of KKR? What is the likelihood of CSK winning the IPL? What are the prospects of Virat Kohli hitting a century in the next match? Well, all these insights can be gathered using data science. Want to know how? So watch this video till the end. Some of the batting matrices used for analysis are Consistency. It is calculated by calculating total run scored and dividing it by the number of times player has been dismissed. A consistent player is surely a priceless asset for any team. Fast scoring ability. It is calculated using formula overall run scored divided by balls played by the player. In the T20 format where overs are limited, fast scoring capacity of a player provides an advantage to this team. Finishing. Every team needs a consistent finisher to enhance their chances of winning. Hard hitting ability, it is assessed by adding sixes and fours scored by the player and dividing it by the number of balls faced. In the T20 format, hard hitters are able to make or break the game. Running between the wickets. In high pressure situation where players can't find boundaries, the potential to rotate the strike plays a crucial role in cricket. Some of the bowling matrices used for analysis are Wicket taking capacity. It is calculated by calculating the number of balls bowled and dividing it by the wickets taken by the player. It is a pivotal metric and it indicates the capacity of the player to slow down run rate and put stress on the upcoming batsman. Crucial wicket taking ability. Formula for this is number of time 4 or 5 wickets taken divided by number of innings played. Shot Performance Index. This parameter assesses good bowling periods displayed by a player in previous matches. Consistency. This is estimated by calculating runs conceded as well as dividing it by the wickets taken by a bowler. Economy. Players with a good economy are the most desired players in the auction as they make sure that there are fewer targets on the boats to chase. Some of the feeling matrices used for analysis are feeling consistency. It is calculated by calculating number of times a player has stopped a boundary or taken a catch and dividing it by the number of times a ball came in his close vicinity. This can be divided to simple chances, intermediate chances and tough chances. Wicket hitting ability. Formula for this is number of instances wickets were hit divided by number of instances wicket targeted by a player. It measures the accuracy and precision of a player in hitting the wickets. Well, this is all about today's episode. So do not forget to connect with us on our social media handles until I meet you next time in yet another episode of Data Science Daily.